everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Maggie so today I thought I would share a process that I normally do every Monday today is Monday April 15th so every Monday I go through and just double check that I tracked my spending from last week correctly so um, I'm checking what I've already tracked in my spreadsheet I check my credit card statement um, my bank account where my bills come out of and just making sure that all of the numbers that I have are accurate. I didn't miss something. So I thought it would be interesting to share a what I spent last week type video. Um, I've never done one of these before, so you'll have to let me know if this is something that you want to see more often um, and what your thoughts are. So um, this past week, I spent, and I have my laptop here for a cheat sheet. So last week I spent a total of $1,024.81. Um, and that is from the 8th to the 14th of April, so a full seven-day week. Um, and I thought it would be interesting to talk about what I spent it on, where that money came from as it relates to my budget, the different categories and sinking funds I pulled from um, so that I could pay off my credit card in full. So first up, I'm going to put the infographic here. So this breaks down by percentage the different categories that that $1,024, $1,025 if we round up came from. <clears throat> so 35.7% from my spending category, 22.4% from groceries, 11.4% from car, 8.8% from home, 7.3% from health, 6.3% from annual, 4.2% from incidental, and 3.8% from bills. So um, we'll kind of talk through each day of the week next, but I thought that this visual was kind of interesting to see where that really broke down between my different um, like budgeting categories. So let's go through the days of the week here. So on Monday the 8th, I spent a total of $194.84. So the first thing um, was a bill, and it was the only bill of the week, so $38.84. So this came out of my bank account directly on a um, you know auto transfer, and this was for my power bill. So it was $38.84, and that is something that I love having all of my bills. I have a separate checking account just for bills. Every month I transfer what I need, and then they're all linked up to that one account, and it happens automatically. So I never have a late fee, I never miss a due date, and it's really easy for me to check, you know, how much actually came out and all that good stuff. Um, and then also on Monday, I bought some trunks, some swimming trunks for my fiance. So he will actually pay this back to me, but I bought them. Um, so they were $156 for two pairs of swimming trunks. Um, we actually bought a pair. We tried them on. They weren't the right size. We returned them, and then I purchased the next size. So um, I'm still counting that as, like, my spend. And then at the end of the month, my fiancé writes me a check for, you know, his part of groceries and things like this where I make the purchase for him um, on my card. So that 156 I will be recuperating. That was Monday. Those were the only two purchases. On Tuesday, I had one purchase. It was for $37, and I went to the grocery store. So this was just kind of like a top-up type of grocery um, trip. So I needed coffee creamer um, and a couple of like fresh ingredients for um, some meals we were making, but not, you know, crazy amount of things um, with 37. And I did round up, um, you know, where you can donate like the extra change. So that's why it's a whole $37 instead of, you know, some change there. But that was it for Tuesday. So Tuesday was a pretty cheap day. Um, Wednesday, the 10th, I spent $160.17. So the first thing I went to the post office and I had to ship a package. It ended up costing $43.35. I put that out of my incidental um, category out of my budget. So I put money there. It's kind of like my miscellaneous fund. Um, we were shipping something down to my fiance's parents. So we'll actually split that cost, but that is something that is a perfect example of why I have an incidental or miscellaneous fund for just little things like that that come up. I'm not going to have a budget item for shipping because I don't ship gifts very often, um, but when I need to, it is nice to have money to pull from. I also had an oil change and tire rotation on my car. So that was $116.82, and that came out of my car sinking fund. I do put money aside every month towards my car just for regular maintenance, 
things like oil changes, tire rotations, you know, if I need any repairs, thankfully my car is in good working order. So this was just kind of a routine thing. Um, so that was the second purchase. And I only had two purchases on the um, Wednesday, the 10th. Moving to Thursday, Target got me. <laughs> so Target had circle week and I was try. I didn't look my app. And then my fiance ordered, he needed new um, headphones. So he ordered some AirPods because they were like 60 bucks off. And then I started looking around because he was talking about it. So anyway, he bought those. Um, I spent $214 and one cent at Target. So, and this was broken into three different categories. So first category is home for $63. So this includes, I bought laundry pods, you know, like for washing clothes and all that. And I also restocked on candles. So I got two Yankee candles and then four of the Target normal, like Opal House candles. I like those. Um, they're not super strong, but they do the trick. So we did restock on candles. We burnt through almost all of the ones that we had from the fall. So I did that and they were also 30% off. So it was a better price than normal. Um, and then in my health category, we spent $74 and 73 cents. Um, I did restock on my vitamins. I take a multivitamin every day. Um, so I did restock on those. I typically buy like three months supply at a time. So I did that. That was a good chunk. And I also bought some bug spray and, um, citronella candles, which I suppose the can, the citronella candles could have come out of home. But I count it as health to like prevent bug bites and all that because it's finally nice here. So we have been sitting out on our deck. Um, we have a table and chairs out there. And so just needed to kind of get ready for bug season as we know it. So that is what I bought and how it kind of came out of the health category. And then the last category is grocery, um, which was $76.28. I bought four or five packages of the like value size of the kind granola bars those are our favorite type of granola bars. We really don't eat any other kind. They are a little bit more pricey, so I was happy to get them when they were a little bit more discounted than normal. Um, but those are the ones that um, work best for us and our family, and so I decided to just buy bulk of it while I could get a little bit of a discount. Target is a little bit cheaper than my local grocery store for those bars, so I try not to get them in my normal grocery shopping just because they're about like $1.50, $2 more a box which when you buy, you know, four or five different boxes, they kind of add up. So that was Target, and that was the only purchase on Thursday, the 11th. And again, that was two fourteen oh one. So then Friday, I had one purchase for $176. This is also from Lululemon, so also for my fiance. So this will be like recuperated. But he liked the swim trunk so much, and we figured out the right size for him. So now we bought him two pairs of shorts that will be um, for the summer. He's lost some weight. So we did a closet clean out for him last weekend and literally zero pairs of shorts <laughs> currently fit him. So he definitely needed to get some shorts. So we picked up two pairs. We'll probably pick up another pair or two for him um, over time, but we started with the two Lululemon um, ones and those will be really great and they're durable. They look nice. So it's, it's worth it. Um, but that is also something that came out of my spending budget, but then that'll be kind of filled back in at the end of the month when he writes me a check. <clears throat> so then for Saturday, I had a couple of purchases. I spent $208.79. Uh, the first one was my credit card annual fee. I have a Capital One cashback card that I absolutely love. Um, and there is an annual fee of $39. So that automatically just showed up on my statement. Um, so that is something that I do plan for and it comes out of my annual sinking fund. Um, I use that to put money aside every single month so that when I have annual bills and expenses come up, I know I can pay them in full and not really worry about adding them into a certain month's budget and really kind of messing things up. So that worked out well. Um, I was able to just quick, you know, pay that. I also got my fishing license. Um, so in Minnesota, I got my fishing license just for me and it was $26.00. That also I plan for for my annual sinking fund. We went fishing off the dock because it was almost 70 degrees on Saturday. It was so nice. We didn't catch anything. It's kind of early for it, but it was nice to get outside and to fish in a legal sense. Um, we also do spring fishing, fall fishing, and then um, we go ice fishing in the winter too. So the fishing license is good for a year basically. Um, so that is good. And that is all paid for for my annual sinking fund. 
Then I went grocery shopping and I did kind of like more of a normal grocery haul. Um, and this was split between groceries and home. I did pick up some cleaning supplies. So for groceries, I spent $116.62 on actual like food and drink products. Um, and then I spent $27.17 on cleaning products. And that included um, some OxyClean powder. We need to kind of scrub our shoes and tennis shoes and that. And that's worked really well for us in the past. So I got some of that. I also got two bottles of dish soap. We were completely out <laughs> at home. Um, I also needed some toilet bowl cleaner and some new Tupperwares, you know, like containers for leftovers and all that. So between, it was just one purchase at, at the grocery store. I don't do two separate purchases, but I do split out from the receipt into the two categories. So total, I spent $143.79 at the grocery store. It was $116.62 for groceries and $27.17 for home products. Um, I know that that gets pretty detailed. That's just how I prefer to do it. I know plenty of people in my life that just include household and groceries as one line item and go from there. So that those were the three purchases on Saturday that made up the $208.79 that I spent. And then on Sunday, I spent $34 out of my spending category. We went into town and we played the local meat raffle. And we also got a snack and some beverages. So $34 for us to go out for the afternoon, see some friends, just hang out. And that was the only purchase for Sunday. So that is how I spent $1,025 last week. So that again kind of breaks down and correlates to this graph, though this is in percentages. Um, I spent a total of $366 on spending, $229.90 on groceries, $116.82 on car, $90.17 on home, $74.73 on health, $65 from my annual sinking fund, $43.35 from incidental, and $38.84 from bills. So that is how last week's spending went. Um, and yeah, let me know how your week last week was for spending. I am not a big tracker of like no spend days and things like that, just because it's never really been a priority for me to track in that sort of way. But it was interesting to see that I had a purchase every day. <laughs> um, so, you know, it, it's life. It's what happens. Let me know how your week went. I'd love to hear from you down below in the comment section. And yeah, if you like this, maybe I'll do another one um, in a couple of months to see what I spend that week. I just think it's a fun kind of thing to look at for a snapshot in time and what's going on in real life. You know, real life is that I had to pull out of different sinking funds here and there, but I'm so glad that I've implemented that kind of strategy into my budget so that I always have money for those categories. So that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.